Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is a haul slash first impression insert of footage on some best-selling beauty products from Amazon. I was like, you know what it would be really fun is if I bought a bunch of random products that was the best-selling items in the beauty department, and I decided I was gonna limit myself to 10 items. If you wanna see some of the best-selling products in action, in the beauty department on Amazon, then just keep on watching this video. But don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to this channel. This kept popping up when I searched like bestseller beauty, makeup, cosmetics. This is BS Mall. <laughs> BS Mall. Doesn't put the best confidence in me on this product. Premium Synthetic Kabuki Makeup Brush Set. I feel like the reason it's the number one seller is because 10 makeup brushes, and I believe this was like ridiculously priced low, so I'll have the price go across the screen. These brushes, let's just touch one for the first time. Touch, touch, touch me. Comment below if you know where that's from. Immediately, these seem pretty like densely packed. They are soft. It's not as rough as I thought they would be. They're a little flimsy for a kabuki brush, but that might work. The face round. This one's like a flat one. So this is the face flat angled, maybe for some contouring. Uh, this one's a face flat. This one is the face tapered. So this would be good for like under my eyes, I feel like. I'm not gonna need five kabuki brushes, but if I wanted five, this is a great deal. Here are some eye brushes. Super soft, is not labeled. I think this is a small round brush, eyeshadow, and primer. This one's a small angled brush, contouring hollows of cheeks and sides of nose. Oh. Small flat angled brush, conceal under eyes and around the nose. I could see that working. Small flat brush for stipple concealer blemishes. I could see that working, like if I dotted some concealer and I just wanted to like blend that out a bit with this. I'll insert footage of me trying them. This one is the face round. This is my 100% pure foundation. I mean, it feels nice on the face. I think it's eating up a lot of my product. Cause I like sheer, but this is a lot sheer than normal. Hmm. I just feel like it ate up a lot of this foundation. So maybe not Maybe not use it with a liquid or a water base. This little thing for the concealer under my eyes. Oh, I like that. It's very precise. I'll use this one to blend. So far, these aren't bad for cream or powder. Uh, not so sure about liquid. I feel like the liquid might be a little bit, uh, t it might absorb a little bit too much. Even if you don't use all of these brushes, you're getting a really great value. So if you're starting out and you need brushes, check out Amazon, man. I did try one of these a while back. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do a first impression before this video goes up because I don't actually have a breakout. But I can tell you it does speed up the recovery of acne. And this is the Acne Pimple Master Patch by Course Ricks. So these are actual like little stickers that are medical grade, supposed to draw out the bacteria and kind of keep it nice and clean. I used this three nights in a row at the first sign of like a pimple, and I found that it dried up and shrank my pimple immediately. You still see a little bit of a mark, but it significantly shrank my pimple a lot faster than typical, and it does speed up the process of a pimple way quicker. I probably would have picked another item in the whole trying the best sellers on Amazon if I didn't love it so much that I wanted another packet. This is the Bay Body Beauty Eye Gel. It's anti-wrinkle, firming, hydrating, lifting, elasticity, fight puffiness, and dark circles. So many people bought it and gave it so many good reviews and said that it significantly changed their under eyes. Re Resistum stem cell technology, plant stem cells, hyaluronic acid, vitamins, E and peptide complex. And from what I can tell, the ingredients are pretty like natural and okay, like 
Organic herbal infusion makes me a little nervous, like what's in that? Organic aloe, there's vegetable glycerin, plant stem cells, cucumber, hydrosol, organic jojoba oil, botanical hyaluronic acid. So the first few ingredients, I understand them. 1.7 fluid ounces, it's a huge amount of product. Like the, it's one of those pumps. I'm a little nervous because I get milia. Oh, that's a lot of product that gets squeezed out. You probably don't need a whole pump. Very jelly-like. It smells like aloe and cucumber. Aloe doesn't really have a scent. It smells like cucumber, that's what I meant. Apply that under my eyes. Nice gel texture, which typically works well with my under eyes and my milia. Because it is a gel, my skin in this area typically will absorb it quicker. But we'll have to see through time if I like this gel. Because you can see, like, I always just kind of have bags under my eyes. This is the Thayer's Natural Remedies Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Alcohol-Free Toner Rose Petal. This was one of the best sellers. I've heard a lot of people rave about witch hazel and I love natural products whenever possible. Carbon-free, phthalates-free, gluten-free, undistilled witch hazel, rose water, cleanses and tones. Flower Power Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera will make your skin bloom. A natural gentle skin toner derived from a time-honored Native American formula. Thayer's Certified Organic Hamamilla's Virginia Witch Hazel is grown exclusively on a family farm in Fairfield County, Connecticut. Our unique blend includes calming rose water to help soften your skin and give it a natural healthy glow. Witch Hazel helps to tighten pores and to smooth beautiful skin without dirt drying. Ooh, it smells like rose water. I actually really like that. It smells really good. It immediately like balanced out my skin. It doesn't feel so dry anymore. So yeah, I really like that. This kept popping up in bestseller as well and this is the Finishing Touch Flawless Facial hair remover removes hair instantly and pain free. This had mixed reviews. Some people were mad because it really essentially is just like an electric razor. Other people really loved it. Some people felt that their hair grew back thicker. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I feel like I could get a little around my lip and around here. I think it got rid of the little fuzzes. It doesn't hurt. I don't think the light really works though. My chin. Definitely works around my mouth because I get little peach fuzzes right here. It's not horrible. I don't always shave it. Around here, I feel like it maybe smoothed it out a bit. Um, the only thing is because you have to like do it in circular motions, I definitely would not recommend anywhere near your brows. That could be a problem. I mean, this works better than I have a Noralco one that's just a stick. Next product is a mascara. This is from Essence. It's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. The wand is pretty skinny. It tapers, and it's a traditional spoolie, which are my favorites. I recently did a blog post over on my blog talking about what I look for in the best mascara and reviewing five of my empties. That's a new series over on my blog where I share with you five new empties a week and whether or not I'd repurchase. Quite impressive. It's a pretty good mascara. It's good at lengthening, adding volume, it has separation. Quite happy with this. I definitely recommend this mascara, especially since it's really affordable. I Organi's Lash and Brow Booster Serum. This was highly rated. This is supposed to boost my lashes and my brows. From what it says, it will not change your eye color or discolor your lids, which Latisse can tend to do. Um, it's also a little bit more affordable than Latisse. The wand is really nice and delicate, which is nice. It's not too wet. Put it right there. To like kind of dip it a couple times for the brows because it is a small brush, but it's really nice for precision. And it gets just enough amount of product for my lash line because sometimes brushes that are too thick, it like gets product in my eyes and then it burns and that's never a good thing. 
this one said you could use it on your lower lashes, so I did. We'll see over time if this has boosted my lashes. True Skin Naturals, it's their vitamin C 20%. E and hyaluronic acid. For vitamin C to be effective, you need to have a concentration of at least 6%. I read the reviews and everybody seems to really, really love this product and have seen huge drastic changes to their complexion and skin tone just by using this. This is one of those things that I will probably have to let you guys know through time, like update you guys. There's no scent, so I'm just gonna pat it onto my skin and then finish off my routine. Really excited to try this out. This is the Pro Teeth Whitening Co. Activated Charcoal Teeth Whitening Powder made with coconut shell charcoal. It's supposed to polish your teeth, freshen your breath, and whiten your teeth. Now, I have receding gum lines and a lot of dental problems, so I can't really whiten my teeth anymore. I used to use Crest White Strips, and I also got professional whitening done. That stuff does a miracle. I really recommend it if you don't have any dental issues. I do, so I have to be really careful like and pick and choose when I use whitening products. 100% natural. I'm gonna put a pinch of powder in the palm of my hand, dip wet toothbrush into powder, brush for one or two minutes, rinse brush with water to remove the residue. Oh, this is so powdery. Okay, I pinched it, it's in here. Try and pick this up. Rinsed. Gonna brush again. I feel like my teeth doesn't clean though. My teeth whiter. I'm gonna have to use this a couple more times, obviously, to see if it eventually will whiten my teeth. Next item is going to be the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing, 100% natural calcium benentine. Clay. It removes impurities and dirt from the pores. Deep pore cleansing, world's most powerful facial. You get one pound of clay, makes 10 to 15 facials. Here's the footage of me testing out for the first time. I have this clay, I have a glass bowl. Don't use metal utensils or bowls. Um, raw and filtered apple cider. This is equal parts uh, liquid and clay. Bubbling, I'm gonna stir it with the end of my mask. You can use apple cider vinegar, you can also use water. I was actually recently told by an esthetician that you want to do a re relatively thin layer of any type of clay mask so that it can actually dry down and suck out all the stuff in your pores. If it's too thick, it won't dry down enough. Plus that also makes your product last longer, so that's good to know. Okay, I definitely used too much product. I'm gonna just make it a little bit thicker. You can have this on anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes for problematic skin. You should feel it to start pulsating. I definitely feel it tingling a bit, not in a like harsh way, just pulsating like it said. So yeah, I'll be right back. It's been a few minutes. My nose is drying and it's definitely tightening up and shriveling up a bit. Especially on my forehead, I feel that a lot. It's definitely like shrinking. Okay, most of this is dry. My face is really pulsating right now. This side isn't fully dry, but I think I put a little more mask on this side. I'm probably gonna have to take it off soon because it's really tight. I'm really like, so I can't move my mouth very much. Just removed the mask and how I did that was I turned on the warm water. I splashed it to kind of like break down the mask and get it a little bit more liquefied and then massage it off. I cooled down my face with cool water and my face is definitely red. It does say that your face is gonna be red. Slight redness of the skin is normal and would, will disappear in about 30 minutes. It definitely felt like it was like sucking stuff out. This side's not as red because I didn't let the clay dry fully on this side, but you can see the areas that were fully dried it's red. I'm gonna apply the rest of my skincare so that my skin doesn't get too dry. Okay, my face is still red. It's been over 30 minutes. 
The redness did clear up a little bit, but it's still a little bit red and it definitely feels hot. But I wanted to go through all of the products. That Aztec Secret Mask was the last of all of the products I have to share with you guys. I've tried everything out a couple times now, especially since it's been two weeks since I filmed the intro and haul portion of this video. Some of these products I still have to try out a little bit longer to see if they're effective. Let's talk about these brushes. I think... I don't need all of these brushes, but for the price, even if you use three or more of these brushes, it's definitely worth the price point. You could see yourself using any of them. It's still a better, more affordable option than some of the brushes out there. Now, you can also buy better quality at an affordable price from Real Techniques, Eco Tools, and... Mm, elf has some good ones too of course every brand has their goods and their bads i think real techniques is the most consistent but also a little bit more pricey compared to the eco tools and the elf brushes you know if you're younger you're most likely going to throw these in your backpack and carry them with you a lot because you're a little bit more on the go face round so this is really good at buffing it does absorb a lot of your foundation in terms of liquid foundation I liked this one for under eyes and this is the slightly angled, densed one to blend in my under eyes. And I also use this one to blend my under eyes, which is a little bit more of a tapered and softer round. I think you get a good variety. Definitely, definitely worth the price point. Next up is the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula with Rose Petal. I really enjoyed this. I think it is a really good, gentle toner. I like the packaging because it's simple. It has a little cap and it smells really nice. It works well. I didn't have any issues with it. There's no alcohol in it, which I really recommend for any skin type, anybody looking for a toner. This is a great starter toner, especially because it's affordable. You get a lot of product. I think if you're in your teens and your 20s, definitely check this one out because of the price point and how clean and good it is. This is something I was really interested in. This is the Activated Charcoal Teeth Whitening Powder. I've used this on and off for about two weeks now and I do like it. It's a little weird and it gets a little uh, getting used to because when you're brushing your teeth, it feels a little bit grimy and like a little bit salty. It's just kind of weird and then you see that it's black and you're worried. But I do find that it is gently whitening my teeth. I still use my natural toothpaste from David's because I just like that minty taste. So I'll either use the toothpaste before or after I use the charcoal whitening. And I mean, it's fine. It is maintaining my whiteness with my teeth. Personally, don't feel that this is enough to prevent cavities. So that is why I also use my natural toothpaste, even though I'm sure it's the same ingredients for the most part. Benentine clay and calcium carbonite which is essentially baking soda activated charcoal flavoring of mint which honestly i don't taste that at all sodium chloride ginger root extract it's very very clean it's 100 percent natural and it does come in a glass jar so if you're trying to be more zero waste and avoid plastic the only thing that is plastic is going to be this cap this is something i definitely recommend this is very good at diminishing your pimple heal time and shrinking your pimples. So if you have an angry red, it'll shrink it really quickly. It's also great for your back if you get back knee because you can't really see it. And it is a repurchase for me and I really do enjoy it. So I'm happy to find that it's available on Amazon because it's just easier to buy things on Amazon sometimes versus like going to five different beauty stores. I'm also noticing that the redness on my skin has definitely toned down quite a bit, so yay! I was getting a little nervous. The number one selling mascara, surprisingly, on Amazon is this Essence Lash Princess False Effect Lash Mascara. I actually am really impressed with this. I find that it was a good wand. It's a wand I enjoy, which is typically that tapered, traditional spoolie I talk about what I'm looking for in the best mascara over on my blog and really affordable so quite impressed with this it didn't flake on me it didn't smudge or budge it lasted all day on me and I was able to get the curl the length and the volume that I wanted so it's a great find highly recommend it very affordable this is the Organi's lash and brow booster serum I've been using this for two weeks and I have noticed my lashes are getting a little bit longer and a little bit fuller you can use it on your 
top and lower lashes you can also use it in your brows i find that the applicator is really thin which is good for applying on your lashes not so much on your brows so i wouldn't necessarily recommend it for your brows i would definitely recommend it for your lashes and your lower lashes it's supposed to be non-irritating it's not supposed to change your eye color or anything that latisse kind of has side effects with which i too have used latisse works really well but there's a lot of weird side effects to it supposed to see full results after 30 to 60 days depending on your lash growth cycle with any of these lash serums they say 60 days typically because they're trying to protect themselves i like it and i do think it's quite affordable and i like that there's no side effects i have pretty sensitive eyes and skin so this was a good find the true skin naturals vitamin c this is 20 percent vitamin c now most skincare brands and products claim the effectiveness of products and ingredients like vitamin c but for vitamin C to actually be effective, it needs to be at 6%. If they use anything less than 6%, legally they are still able to claim the benefits and effectiveness of vitamin C, but you won't see any of it. Unfortunately, they don't always disclose that either in your products. This is affordable, it's pretty clean, and it says it's vitamin C at 20% with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. If you're looking for the benefits of vitamin C, which is brightening, um, adding protection against sun damage, and just overall, most people like vitamin C because of the brightening effects and how it's able to help diminish some of the uh, hyperpigmentation and all of that stuff. It's also really good to use underneath a sunblock because it helps boost your protection against the sun. To be a 20%, that's pretty impressive. I haven't used this long enough to really see whether or not it is as effective as some of my other vitamin C's like the Drunk Elephant. Paracom MD, I've also used Dr. Brandt, and of course Murad. I use pretty potent vitamin C. This is definitely more affordable than anything I just named. You can read and understand all of these ingredients, which is also a plus. One tool I purchased was this little round thingy, and I do like it. I think it works really well for my face area um, around here. My hair is really wispy. I don't have a lot of it. I think this is better than my Noralco, which is just like a straight blade. This one's round, so it works a little bit better at getting some of the shapes of my face in this area. The jaw line. So I quite enjoyed it. I think it's a good little buy. Plus, it's pretty clean and cute. It's a little more girly than the Noralco one I currently have, which I think Hubs took. Uh, the next product is this Bay Body Beauty Eye Gel. I didn't really see a difference, to be completely honest. I think some of the eye creams I currently have are better than this, but also way more expensive. You're getting 1.7 fluid ounces, which is a ton of product. It is very hygienic with the packaging. It's a gel. It didn't cause any of my milia. And I mean, it's fine. It's a good product. I don't think it has some of the claims that you can see in the reviews on Amazon. I feel like some of those claims are really dramatic and I didn't see like a huge dramatic difference. Maybe I have to use it a little bit longer. Looking for an affordable eye product if you're on a budget i do think that this might work for you if you have milia this might help out because it's a gel based versus like super heavy creams which can sometimes cause milia to become worse and the final product which you just saw me put on and my face is still red from this is the aztec secret indian healing clay probably the most intense thing i put on my face in a long long time definitely feels really effective but I don't know if it is. I feel like it is. I feel like you guys will tell me that my skin looks good. I did put my brows on to film this end part of my video, but I don't have anything else on my skin. I personally think that if you are looking for a really deep clean, you'll really enjoy this. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for super sensitive skin because it was a little intense or maybe do a really thin layer and only leave it on for five minutes. I try to leave it on for 10. Skin still feels a little bit tight, but not dry. I do like how natural and clean it is. And I do like that it's, there's this like glare coming on me. What happens when you use natural light? Okay, there. I do like how clean the ingredients are and that you can kind of like mix it. It's pretty affordable considering how much product you get. Really congested pores, I think you'll enjoy this because it definitely like sucks stuff out. This for me, I might not even do once a week. I might do like maybe once every other week, do a deep clean, 
because I could easily see you overusing this. Definitely listen to your skin. Not do it during the day because you're gonna be red for a while. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I wanted to keep it pretty casual and cool at the end. But it was fun to try out some of these best sellers on Amazon. It's always I'm always curious to see what people like to buy and some of the reviews before purchasing. I will do my best to link everything exactly as I purchase them in the description box. As always, I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And at the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was that you needed help taking your mind off of. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I am doing a huge announcement at the end of the month about what I'll be doing for the holidays. Don't forget to enter my 100K giveaway over on Husband Does My Makeup, and you can also find that on my blog, serenalu.com. All of my information is always in the description box, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!